Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to another Spirit Pick Me Up reading. So these Spirit Pick Me Up readings, we're going to be tapping into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven decks for the Spirit Pick Me Ups, um, seven Free Spirit decks to receive messages. So we're going to go into this completely open. So clear out your mind and heart and just get ready to receive. I thought it would be a great time to just take a break and get a Spirit Pick Me Up reading. So we're going to tap into the Natural Oracle for Life or messages for the journey, what we can keep in our minds and hearts for love support backing at this time we're going to tap into the remember you deck the qualities that they want you to remember at this time that would be the most helpful we're going to tap into real divine self-care messages what we can do for real divine self-care we're going to tap into the divine power deck what your divine power is being used for at this time we're going to tap into the real divine abundance deck and this is your source um, so connected to real divine abundance in all forms what we can keep in our minds and hearts when it comes to that yeah i think there's going to be a lot of messages about that we're going to tap into the divine spirit deck from the divine spirit to your divine spirit this is going to be more direct guidance for what just came out and we're going to end it with pure love from spirit which i feel like this all is so let's get right into it even though we're tapping into seven decks they're going to be short sweet to the point spirit pick me up messages for love support backing definitely trust your own intuition besides what I say and the first pin comment will be the whatever the length of the video is the angel number message for this message so let's tap in and just get ready to receive yes okay let's get into it this is support for all you're doing in the physical I can feel already so let's get into it and release the pressure any stress because all of a sudden um my back started hurting. So it's like release your burdens, everything you've been carrying on your back, the stress, just breathe it out and just get messages to support you right now in the physical with all that you're dealing with and handling at this moment. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. Yeah. The number two, when I said about the burdens and what you've been carrying, this is rocky roads and yes, harvest time. So they want you to know the work you've been doing, it has felt like a, it hasn't been a smooth road, right? And especially, <laughs> I'm flashing on a gazillion things personally, but the number one message, the path is not always smooth, but it is always leading to somewhere. You will reach smoother paths down the road. So do not give up. You could feel kind of stressed out or burdened as you're trying to make your way down this rocky road. It is not smooth, but it is leading to a harvest. So they want to assure you in this reading that this bumpy road the burdens you're carrying what you're doing it doesn't seem smooth or straight it is going to be at the end of it a harvest so they're saying it is harvest time you have worked so hard and now a much deserved harvest is now coming from your efforts so your efforts what you've been doing on this quote-unquote rocky road um, is heading to your harvest time that you deserve this you've worked really hard it's a much deserved harvest it's coming from your efforts and your efforts they're even saying has not it has not been smooth it has not been smooth so when they talk about well-deserved harvest because of the work you've done that is what they're saying so that's what this reading is about that's what they want to bring forth so they're acknowledging it's been a rocky road but you are getting much deserved harvest we're going to talk about what to remember probably while you're on this rocky road um headed toward your much deserved harvest coming from your efforts what do they want you to remember as you're doing this Remember you are a survivor. Remember you are a survivor. When you're on these rocky roads and it's not always smooth and you're feeling burdened or stressed or overwhelmed or whatever it is, um, remember the one card out of 90 uh, that they want you to remember is that you are a survivor. So yeah, when you are on this rocky road, huffing and puffing and doing your work to head to the harvest here they're telling you that remember you're a survivor so carry that as you're on this bumpy road you are a survivor you can survive the bumps in the road you're going to survive all that and there's going to be much deserved harvest harvest coming from your efforts you are a survivor so you really know how to get through these rocky roads <laughs> you know how to keep going. You know that you're going to reach smoother paths down the road. Remember what you're made of and that you're a survivor. So when you hit like obstacles, bumps in the road, it's not easy. It's not smooth. 
remember you're strong. You are a survivor and you're going to get much deserved harvest that you have really worked so hard. A much deserved harvest is coming from your efforts. So that's what they're giving you. It's almost like when you get knocked down, you're not staying down. You keep going on this path and and you know something is not working out some you just know to persevere you're a survivor so it's going to lead to harvest time to much deserved deserved harvest coming from your efforts and it is an effort and they're reminding you that you're strong you're a survivor and you can survive paths that are not smooth and paths that are difficult or paths that um you know and then they're telling you it's leading to somewhere so they're keeping you like in survivor mode, in strength mode, in um, you persevere mode, you keep working hard mode. That's what they're um, giving you. So let's take talk about real divine self-care to kind of embody that survivor as you're on these roads. Look, it landed right on the survivor. So what they want you to know clearly as you're a survivor on this path that's not smooth, they want you to tune in and listen to your intuition for divine guidance and wisdom. So when you're on this path, you know that it's leading to smoother paths and along the difficulties, along things, you're tapping in and listening to your intuition and divine guidance and wisdom. Um, that's how they're keeping you in survivor mode and also to keep stay embodied with that every time you hit like a rock over here a bump over here an obstacle you're just you know they're saying that it is leading to somewhere and not just that but deserved harvest from your efforts deserved harvest is coming from your efforts so they're keeping you tuned in and listening to your intuition for that divine guidance and wisdom that knows this that the end of this is is this and um they're helping you to navigate and also hold that in your heart and stay strong as a survivor you are for the well-deserved harvest coming from your efforts they're just they just are let's tap into divine power since they are keeping you in survivor mode that's strong no matter what even if it's not smooth things you know whatever that you're just keep going tune in and listen to your intuition divine guidance wisdom you have divine power to feel what is right remember they want you to tune in and listen to your intuition divine guidance wisdom you can actually feel what's right as you're navigating this path as you're trying to create more harvests they're helping you along this path and along the way you have divine power to feel what is right how you're navigating remember we had that moon card uh, goddess of the moon divine high priestess again they were saying that is how they want you to be strong like the survivor you are very tuned in tapped in as you're going on this path to your well-deserved harvest now along the way they are saying to definitely you have the feeling like your divine headlights your compass you have divine power to feel what's right on this road what's right to do how to navigate that and to tune in and listen to your intuition and divine guidance and wisdom they're helping you to navigate this path as the strong survivor you are and to get to the harvest coming in from your efforts much deserved harvests right so along the way on the path, really tune in and listen. That's been a recurring message that as you're navigating this, you're very tapped in at the same time as you are in the physical. Like this is support for what you're doing in the physical to bring this in in the physical, right? So as you're navigating this road that they're acknowledging is bumpy, is not smooth, it does have problems, you know, things like that. Along the way, they want you to embody that survivor strong tapped in mode. And what's going to help you is you tune in and listen to your intuition and divine guidance and wisdom as you navigate this and you can also feel what is right and that is leading to this so that is clearly what they're saying in this reading so they're really helping you to navigate to your deserved rewards um, to navigate the path to rewards for your efforts you can feel you can definitely have you have they're saying you have the divine power to feel what is right so you can feel what's right to do in the moment and tune in and listen to your intuition and for divine guidance and wisdom exactly because you can feel what is right so remember to tap in because you're definitely getting guided on how to navigate and it's divine guidance to get to here and remember your survivor so any bumps in the roads any obstacles any difficulties it's like you are strong you're a survivor you can feel what's right to do you're listening trusting your divine compass which is your divine guidance and wisdom along here and you are going hand in hand you're going to bring in these deserved harvests for your efforts well deserved they say abundance be aligned again just what i was saying we got the 
divine high priestess. We have the goddess of the moon. Be aligned with your higher self in your actions and reactions, creating the outcomes you really want. These are the outcomes you really want. So they're having you very tapped in. You can feel what is right. Listen to your intuition, your divine guidance as you're trucking along this path. I mean, it reads like a sentence. They're bringing it home, literally. Remember, you're a survivor. You're strong. You're tapped in. You're aligned with your higher self as you're navigating this path in your actions and reactions, creating the outcomes you really want. Here's the outcomes you really want. This is rewards for hard work coming in, much deserved harvest coming from your efforts. So be aligned with your higher self and your actions, your reactions. That's creating the outcomes you really want. So even if it's not smooth, it's hitting glitches, it's bumps in the road, whatever it is, you're a survivor, you're strong, you're tapped in. You know you can, you actually can feel what's right, actually. And you're staying aligned with your higher self and your actions, reactions, creating the outcomes you really want. And here are the outcomes. So this is being very aligned, tuned in, like they said, tuned in and listen. That's divine guidance and wisdom. Be aligned as you're navigating this to your harvests. And the, here we have create with all your heart and soul as those are divine ingredients for divine co-creations right now. Yes, tapped in with them. You're co-creating this together. So you're creating, doing everything, staying connected, aligned to your higher self. You're creating with all your heart and soul. That is what they're talking about. It's 11-11 on the video. That's your quote-unquote divine ingredients that are having divine co-creations, rewards for hard work coming in. So definitely you're creating with all your heart and soul, your divine ingredients for these harvests. Stay aligned with your higher self, with all your actions, reactions, because they're they're saying that because it's not a smooth road. You're not going from A to B to, to results. It could be like A to A1, A5, to B, to D, back to A, back to B. It just reminds me of a rocky road. So they're saying, stay tuned in, stay in your higher self. To, uh, you can feel what's right. Listen to your intuition, divine guidance. You're co-creating harvest, well-deserved harvest for your hard work. So like it's a very repeating message as you're doing things in the physical, stay very tapped in spiritually at the same time. So now we're going to get, this is supporting well-deserved harvest coming from your efforts. You're kind of co-creating this because you're kind of watching how you're what they are saying is your actions and reactions, making sure it's aligned to the outcomes you really want. Even if it's not smooth bumps in the roads, that you have divine power to feel what's right, that you can tune in and listen to your intuition, divine guidance, wisdom. They're helping you to navigate this, to have those rewards for hard work come in. And they're saying you're actually co-creating that because you're staying aligned to your higher self along the way. You're a survivor, you're staying linked, and you're bringing in results for hard work. That's what they're supporting in this reading. Oops, that's the messages. Right on the bottom, listen to divine guidance now. Yeah, that's what they're supporting you in bringing in. Results for hard work. Results from your efforts. Navigating the path that's not smooth along the way to still be tapped in with your actions, reactions. Making sure you're creating with all your divine ingredients the, the outcomes you really want. It's really staying aligned a little bit higher because that's the number one thing that's been coming out over and over. Like you can feel what's right. You can tap in and and receive divine guidance as you're co-creating harvests at the same time, you're right? Um, so even as you're working, you're staying open and tapped in how you can navigate and actually create the outcomes you really want, really bring in deserved harvest from your efforts, right? Which they're saying we're co-creating and it's landing spirit, divine spirit deck is landing right on those harvests. So they're co-creating your harvest. They're co-creating that you're getting results from your hard work or your efforts, right? Even through the rocky road, take time to breathe in between, just like I'm doing this reading. Take time on this path to breathe in between because you they want you to stay aligned with your higher self. They want you to create, co-create these harvests. So if you need, it almost reminds me, you know, when you're on your path and you got to take a breather for a second, someone knocks you out, stay, take a breather for a second on the curb, but then you get right back out there because remember you're a survivor. So there's something about take that time in between. So you see in that survivor, survivor up mode um, that you just keep going on that path like nothing knocks you down it almost reminds me i'm getting that image of you know when someone got knocked down like almost like um what are those things that you knock and it punk comes back that that you're you're like a pop-up like nothing is keeping you down that's what they're saying you take time in between to breathe um to come back to your survivor any kind of pebble or rock in the road is surmountable you're bringing those well-deserved harvest for your hard work 
one way or another, you're staying tapped in and with your higher self aligned, creating more of what you really want. So nothing's going to keep you down. Take the time to breathe in between as you're trying to accomplish things. It's going to keep you in that mode. Yeah, have faith in your abilities is number one. Yeah, have faith in your abilities as you're here. Remember, they're calling you a survivor. Um, have faith when you're on this rocky road the whole time. They're telling you that this is coming in. Uh, you work really hard. A much-deserved harvest is coming in from your efforts. Reassure yourself that and have faith in your abilities as you keep going to bring in these harvests. That's what they're saying. Have faith in your abilities. It's leaning on here. It's part of your divine ingredients. Have faith in your divine ingredients. Co-creating, bringing in results for your hard work. Have faith in your abilities. They have faith in you. So keep going forward for results for hard work coming in. They're supporting you for results from your hard work, from your efforts. Bring in harvests. Continue to have faith in your abilities no matter what's going on on this path that's not smooth, <laughs> right? Okay, so divine spirit messages are saying, yeah, you have more strength than you know. Yes, you are a survivor. They are telling you that no matter how long, how rocky that it is in bringing well-deserved harvest in from your efforts, your hard work, they want you to know you're a survivor. You keep going. You do not go, you know, go down. You have faith in your abilities. You have more strength than you know. Remember, you're a survivor. You hold that in your heart. So whatever glitches, I'm not saying anything horrible is happening, but it's not a straight road. So if there's obstacles, things are taking longer, things are getting you know, more effort, more efforts needed or whatever it is, they are telling you, you remain having faith in your abilities and you definitely are more stronger and you have more strength and you know, you, they're calling you a survivor. Remember you're a survivor and that on the other side of this rocky road where it's taking more out of you, a lot of hard effort to bring hard, you know, results in from your hard work, there will be a smoother road down the road. <laughs> so they're commending you for how you're getting through this rocky road. You have more strength than you know. Have faith in your abilities. It is, this rocky road is le leading to well-deserved rewards, well-deserved harvest coming from your efforts. And they're underscoring it is effort because they're com commenting on remain, you know, you have more strength than you know. Have faith in your abilities. Stay aligned with your higher self. It's helping you to navigate the rocky road to continue going forward. Take breath in between. Um, they're also giving you that being very tapped in with your higher self, listening to your intuition, your guidance along here, and you can actually feel what is right. They're helping you actually how to address problems or issues along the way because this card is about co-creating this together. So they're actually going to make sure that you're getting some kind of hard work uh, being payoffs here where you're having results come in from, like they're saying, a really well-deserved harvest is coming from your efforts. And this path has been... You know, it's well deserved because of this path here. So, yeah, they're commending you in your abilities. Have faith in your abilities. You're much stronger than you even know. And that is actually part of your divine ingredients that they're saying. Um, stay aligned with your higher self as you're navigating. And they are just really commending you on your strength, your stamina, facing things head on, and bringing in those rewards for hard work. Well deserved rewards and har harvest time from your efforts. So, yeah, and they're blessing with you. You can actually feel what is right. I mean, that was what they were touching on before about divine high priestess, goddess of the moon, whatever you find that highly intuitive, you're tapped in. So while you're doing things and navigating the path and working hard, you're still at the same time tapped in. So it's almost you do have divine wisdom helping you on how to navigate situations that you're actually bringing in results, more results for your hard work. That's what this reading is trying to bring forth. So they're supporting you on results for hard work. Um, continue to have faith in your abilities. You're more strong than you know. They're calling you a survivor. You stay tapped in to find guidance and wisdom to navigate. You can even feel what is right. Great with all your heart and soul and everything. They're calling that divine ingredients. You stay aligned with your higher self in all your actions and reactions, creating the outcomes you really want. So when something hits you on this road, you're not going off with your actions and reactions. You're staying aligned to bring these harvests in. That's what they're supporting. So it's really beautiful. Well-deserved harvest coming in from your hard work, your efforts. So let's tap into pure love from spirit, supporting you being strong and going forward and continue, continue. Yes, we are helping you. Just what I was still babbling about. It landed on here. Tune in for and listen to your intuition and divine guidance and wisdom. They are helping you 
as you are on this path, trying to bring in rewards for hard work harvests. They even said we are co-creating. That's part of your divine ingredients, actually, that they you can receive that kind of help that's helping you to create this. They're helping you tune into your intuition, divine guidance. Remember when they said stay aligned to your higher self and your actions, reactions. They, they said create divine ingredients. You're co-creating. They're helping you. They're helping you. You're strong. Have faith in your abilities. They're helping you to navigate any kind of obstacle course that's going on. Or if it's not a smooth road, they're helping you how to adapt. Uh, with your actions, reactions, and almost staying tapped in while you work. So you're actually bringing this in, well-deserved, for your hard work, your efforts. So they're commending you for that. They are helping you, and they want you to know that they are helping you um, for these results. We will send you some help as well. We're helping you, and we will send help. That has been a repeating message as you're on this path trying to bring in rewards for hard work. They're helping you, and they will also send help. Uh, they will send you some help. So from the outside world, we know you miss us if you've been flashing on them as you're feeling that they're helping you to navigate the path to bring in more heart rewards for hard work. We know you miss us. It's been the second, third time this has come out. So if you're thinking, reminiscing about, especially those loved ones that have passed on and you're tapping in, um, they know that you miss them. If you've been looking at their pictures, if you've just been fondly holding them in your mind and heart, um, that you've been relying on them in some way for strength because they say you have more strength than you know, have faith in your abilities. Anybody that that's that tone, that love support backing for you that's passed on, they say, we know you miss us. And they're helping you to remember you have more strength than you know to have faith in your abilities. You are a survivor. Um, stay aligned to that. You're getting, you're bringing in, you're co-creating with their help. You're bringing in more rewards for hard work, more rewards for your hard, your hard work and your efforts. Well-deserved. <laughs> well deserved take the time in between to breathe if you need to connect to them and listen to your intuition and divine guidance and wisdom because it's helping you to navigate this and also how to stay aligned as you're navigating that to remember what you're aligned to um, is helping you to bring in rewards for hard work and this last one wanted to be seen yeah, we are supporting you. Why I was doing this. Yeah, we're helping you. We will send you some help. We know you miss us. We are supporting you. It reads like a sentence. We are helping you. We are. We will send you some help. We know you miss us and we are supporting you. That is what they want you to know. As you are navigating this rocky road, doing the work, hard work efforts, it's not smooth, but it's leading to well-deserved harvest for your efforts. Well-deserved is now coming from your hard work. You have love, support, backing, and support. That's the messages that wanted to come through for you. I wish you the best in all you are doing. Take care. Bye-bye.